musicians are, they do everything in stereo. <laughs> thought she'd be doing Peyton Place Live. Huh? <laughs> and I'm sure you've all heard about the fantastic new medical breakthrough Miss Vicky is expecting. <laughs> Miss Vicky is expecting. Of course, we still don't know what. I don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl or a tulip. <laughs> and Tiny was thrilled at the news. He said, I want to thank everyone who made it possible. <laughs> no, but it really is big news. Do you realize this will be the first birth of this kind in almost 2,000 years? <laughs> Bride got married on the Johnny Carson show, and apparently that's the last time they watched it. <laughs> and by the way, the Oscar nominations are out, or as they're known over at my house, hee haw. <laughs> You'd be amazed how emotional some actors get if they're left out. You know, the Academy says they've received 48 obscene phone calls. 48. They can't even add. <laughs> John Wayne is up for an Oscar for his role in True Grit, which is now showing in Israel under the title of Chutzpah. <laughs> Chutzpah. Very happy for John Wayne. I'm sure it's a big thrill for him to be recognized so early in his career. <laughs> but really, I think he's got a great chance of winning. There aren't many Indians voting. <laughs> now imagine three nominations for Barbara Streisand and Hello Dolly and none for me. Is it my fault because my nose took the wrong off ramp? <laughs> The only foreign film nominated was Z. It really was a low-budget picture. They couldn't even afford a title. <laughs> Z sounds like a short nap. <laughs> no, Z really had me confused. I didn't know it was a picture. I thought you bought it by the roll. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, the dark swinger. Yes. You in a heap of trouble, boy. Come in. Is that your aforementioned vehicle? Therefore, if it, uh, yes. Check out your special equipment, boy. Uh, well, there's vinyl roof, deluxe wheel covers, white wall, deluxe vinyl interior. Keep reading. Carpeting, automatic transmission, remote control. Right down the sticker, which says automatic transmission? Yes. He didn't charge on foot. That's right. Well, how in a blue Susie do you know part of the deal? To what? Part of the new Swinger automatic sale. When you buy this specially equipped dark Swinger, you get the automatic transmission at no extra charge. You're gonna go broke, boy. You know that? And now, Dodge has cut the dart sticker price even more. For example, the price on a dart Swinger two-door hardtop is $187 less. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, boy. And so the world crisis was averted. And here we are in the year 2000. And you'll notice there's no more overcrowding, no more smog, no more pollution, and no more love. Men are still men, and women are still women, but nobody cares. Hi there, Harry. <laughs> you feeding the pigeons today? I eat like a bird. I'll spread some newspaper around. Sure. 
Auntie, that supervisor's been giving me a bad time all morning. Oh, you mean that big muscle-bound one with the handlebar mustache? Mm, that's the one, Irene. <laughs> Please, help me. G give me anything. A quarter, a dime. Sure. Just anything. There you are. Oh, bless you, sir. Oh, <laughs> Who was that? That's Dr. Rubin, one of the biggest obstetricians in Beverly Hills. Sad. Yeah, it is sad. The last delivery he made was for Chicken Delight. Hey, watch it. Here comes the anti-love fuzz. Anything, uh, sexy going on here? <laughs> Yeah, our tongue sandwiches just kissed each other. Well, you just take it easy. I'm just doing my job. I'm going to take your pulse and your blood pressure because I want to make sure you don't have any illegal thoughts. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. Either my battery's dead or yours is. Thanks a lot. I don't know why you checked us. An idea like that never crossed my mind. An idea like what? Well, an idea like... An idea like... Okay, lady, that's it. You better get out of here before I run you in. And I'm giving you a citation. Yeah, what for? For racing your motor in a 20-mile-an-hour zone. <laughs> if you ever get mixed up in anything like this again, I'm really gonna get you in some trouble. Shit. Well, I hope you'll get transferred to Santa Barbara. <laughs> hey, Harry. Harry, you left your lunch bucket. Hey, Harry. 3924 Neuter Boulevard. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's near the intersection of Myra and Breckenridge. <laughs> your pants on. Oh, well, I found this in the attic. It's Grandma's wedding gown. Wow, I never saw that much of anybody before. Not even myself. I wore a body stocking in the shower. Well, years ago, all the girls used to wear these. Girls? You're a girl? Yes. You like it? I guess so. My eyeballs just changed sockets. Hey, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, no. Wait. The door is jammed. Well, why are you running? Well, listen, it's a misdemeanor for being found alone with a girl, and it's a felony for falling in love. So? <laughs> well, what's going on with my mind? I could get the chair right now. <laughs> Come on, sit here right near me. No, 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 I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I live by a code of honor, morality, and decency. Anything else? <laughs> yes. <laughs> May I bite the back of your neck? <laughs> Well, in the old days, before they press, passed the law, people used to do it all the time. Bite necks? No, wait, it was something with the lips. Oh, no, I must even think of that. Oh, oh, I guess that's what this book I found in the attic is all about. Yeah, what book? Mm, everything you always wanted to know about sex. Well, where did you get that? Boy, they burned that along with Jackie Onassis' letters. <laughs> I spent my honeymoon with Tiny Tim. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh-oh. Here it is right here. It's this thing called, it's called kissing. It takes two people and they bite each other on the teeth. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. Well, you know I could get arrested for that? You should be. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh. Now we did it. What? You're going to have a baby. <laughs> Just from a kiss? 
Oh, no, thank heavens I skipped the page. <laughs> the funniest feeling. Really? Mm, I feel weak and dizzy and hot and cold all over. What could it be? Oh, I don't know, but the first time this happened, a snake came around selling apples. <laughs> oh, boy, how I wish it was yesterday. Why do you say that? Well, yesterday you were just another guy sitting on the park bench, and today I love you, and we're going to have to do something about it. I know something we can do. Before the law against love, there used to be a ceremony so, so two people could be together and live and eat and, and do everything together. You know what it's called, don't you? Sure, Swedish movies. <laughs> Yes? Is this Sam's Bar and Marriage Chapel? <laughs> What's the password? Mickey Rooney sent me. <laughs> Take a number. Mm. Set him up for two, Sam. We're number 24. 24? 24. <laughs> Folks, I'm marrying Sam. Now, about the wedding, how much do you want to spend? Oh, about $10. Well, our minimum wedding is $50. Well, couldn't we get a cheaper wedding in a church? Well, if you want to do business with people who stay open on Sunday. <laughs> okay, okay, the $50 wedding. Good, now, the $50 one is cash, of course. <laughs> there we are. Now, do you want a civil ceremony or religious? Oh, religious. Good. <laughs> That will be $25 extra for the preacher. Now, uh, you, of course, will want a veil, won't you? Oh, yeah. No. Good, good. Here we are. There we are, my dear. Now, of course, you can't have a religious wedding without some music. We are gathered here to witness this marriage. Now, do you take this man for your unlawfully wedded husband? I do. Good, good. Now, how about you? Do you take this woman? I do. Good, good. Yeah. The, the ring, please. How about a wedding ring for the little lady? <laughs> yeah. I'll take this $3 one. Oh, it's a pleasure, Richard. I hope you and Mrs. Burton will be very happy. <laughs> It's the fuzz. What? Yeah. Fuzz. Fuzz. <laughs> Want you all to stand up straight and put your lips against the wall. Oh, you got us wrong, officer. This is a respectable clip joint. Only booze and drugs sold here. <laughs> well, I guess you hit him lucky. But you better watch it. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's get this over with fast. Come on, baby. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. to see a brand new addition to the family of Dodge Polaro. Polaro Special. It's big and it's beautiful and it has a few surprises in store. For instance, there are 47 brands in this country to choose from. And Polaro Special has more room than 45 of them. This is Chrysler's famous unibody construction. And inside, you'll experience the silence, the comfort of torsion quiet ride. The same ride you get with the luxurious Imperial. Impressed? Then consider this. For all its size, for all its luxury, 
Dodge Polaris Special is priced below Ford Galaxy 500, below Chevy Impala. That makes it just possibly the biggest bargain you're going to see in 1970. Dodge Polaris Special. See it at your Dodge dealers today. Father of boys, how you worry. But when you're the father of girls, you do more than that. You pray. From the time of diaper and pin till the time they cry, don't come in. I tell you, he's quit smoking. He's got a beat. What do you mean, how long? Two days. <laughs> it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Uh, I gotta go now. I hear him at the door. Would you help me off with my coat, dear? I'd like to claw the walls for a while. I'm so proud of you. Did you have a craving at the office today? Please, Doris, I'm a married man. I hate to leave you alone at such a critical time, but I promised Julie I'd look after the kids this weekend. Are you kidding? You know my willpower, my strength of character. When I give something up, I give it up. Honey. What? Uh, you're sucking your thumb again. <laughs> not. I'm watering my hangnail. Uh, this is the number of Smokers Anonymous. Uh, if you have an overwhelming urge to smoke, call this number. They'll send somebody right over. With a pack of cigarettes? Uh, no, to help you get over the crisis. Now, there's the number. Uh, Marlboro 75,000. Uh, will you remember it? I wish I could forget it. <laughs> We've got to have a smoke. Just a few puffs. That's not cheating, just a couple of puffs and I'll be all right. Just a couple of puffs, that's all I need. That's all. I've got to find a better place for my skis. Oh, oh. hey, why'd you come back? I forgot my cigarettes. <laughs> what a stupid place to hide cigarettes. You know? <laughs> Hello, this is Elliot Kozak at 432 Moore Park. I need help. Thank you. Smoke is anonymous. I know. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but I had a little trouble on the bus. I refuse to give a lady a tipperillo. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. I gotta get cigarettes off my mind. What's your name? Kent Newport. <laughs> and I can see I got here just in a nicotine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Cigarettes don't kill me, you will. <laughs> Now then, let's just sit down here like two civilized adults, okay? And we'll talk it over. All right. Okay. Now, here 
We have a uh, cigarette smoking survival kit. Oh, really? How does it work? Well, there's a package of cigarettes in here, you oh, see. Oh, really? Now, I just open the case. Yes. And I slam it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that ought to work. It's hard to hold your cigarette with one big thumb. <laughs> And here's an inspirational book. It's called Who Needs Tobacco by Timothy Leary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you the advantages of not smoking. All right. Now, here, you take one of these yeah. and blow into that balloon, and I'll blow into this, and you'll see the difference. All right. to Scott Carpenter. <laughs> you know, I used to smoke. I used to be like you, sick, sick, sick. Hey, have you noticed any difference since you quit smoking? Yes, I've grown taller. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, no, no, it's nothing. It's just my nerves. I'm sorry. You, you did your best, but I gotta have a cigarette. Let, let me call and have him send me a pack. No, 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 no. You've gotta forget about cigarettes. Come yeah. on, here. You gotta forget about cigarettes. You gotta forget about every brand of cigarettes. You mustn't think of anything connected with cigarettes. No, shh, shh. You see, I got here just in time. You're very lucky. Yeah. Lucky? No, 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 no. no. You gotta keep your cool. Cool. No. Remember the immortal words of Sir Winston. Winston tastes good. Oh, he said, I can go without a cigarette as long as a camel can go without water. Camel, camel. I can go without water, but I can't go without a camel. Give me that. Go. Wait, wait, here. Here. All right. All right. Now, you've forgotten all about cigarettes. Mm -hmm. You've got it lit. Uh, yeah. You just have to hold out a little longer. How much longer? A silly millimeter longer. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, look. You've got to get your mind onto something else. Television, that's the thing. Wait a minute. Here's one. Here's a television guide. Television. Here. I right. tried that this morning. I watched the tennis matches. Yeah, well, it took your mind off smoking, didn't it? No, Arthur Ashe was playing. <laughs> there are other things, you know. <laughs> Television is full of bright, sparkling, artistic, informative, and stimulating programs. What have you been smoking? <laughs> All right, what's on the two wise guy? Tonight? Yeah. Well, there's gun smoke. <laughs> and on the late, late show, Tobacco Road. How about that? smoke, you hear me? Yeah, right. I gotta have a smoke. There must be one around here somewhere. You know, when I was smoking, I was worse than you. Yeah? You know what I did once? You know where I hid a cigarette? Where? Inside the telephone. Isn't that wild? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do you... Will you put that cigarette... Don't you come near me. Don't you come near me. Don't you come near me. You, look, look, you're a grown man. No, don't, don't you're take it away. You're a child, although you're acting like one. Don't take it away. Look, I don't have to tell you the danger. Please, 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 don't take it away. I don't have to tell you Please, don't take it away. Please, You've given up this miserable habit. You have to quit smoking. All you have to do whenever you find a cigarette is this. You know, I've seen desperate cases in my life, but this one calls for the ultimate. Oh, Miss Prentice! She does a lot of waiting outside. It's her thing. <laughs> Elliot, here is a girl who'll make you forget all your all about cigarettes. Meet Virginia Slims. <laughs> Are you uh, still thinking about cigarettes? <laughs> yes, I am. Why is that? Well, you're so round, so firm, so fully packed. <laughs> now are you thinking of cigarettes? What are cigarettes? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Prentice. You've done it again. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. If you uh, ever need a booster, I'm at your service. You see, it can be done. Oh, you're so right. Thanks to you, I'll never smoke again. <laughs> Dodge boys, wonderful guys to deal with. Gee, that hairy guy sure looks beat. 
Hop in, fella. Ever ride the Dodge Adventure before? <laughs> you hippies really lead a carefree life, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. How do you like this optional air conditioning? Sure beats the heat, huh? <laughs> and with this optional power steering, cushion beam suspension really beats pounding the old asphalt. <laughs> That walnut grain dash really gets to the girls, I'll tell you that. Work or play, Dodge Adventure leads a double life. <laughs> so, you know, if you're not doing anything tonight, my girlfriend's cousin just loves the strong silent time. Why monkey around with ordinary pickups? You'll go ape over the new Dodge Adventure. See it at your Dodge boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> now, then it's not really. <laughs> Final buckets, wood grain paneling. Go ahead, try it. 
Uh, you'll excuse me, huh? Uh, I'll be right back. I, I've got to get something. Pardon me. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, what I left over, what I need. Uh, get moving, Jojo! Oh. 1970 Dodge Coronet 500. Owning it's a challenge. If you're up to it, you could be Dodge material. Here's another shot of me from a better angle, right here. Was that anybody we know? I sure hope not. <laughs> One of the best parts of my game, the sand shot. You know, a lot of amateurs are afraid of it, but it's just a matter of confidence and rhythm. <laughs> doing wrong you don't keep your head down after you've hit the shot after the shot I should still keep my head down yes in shame <laughs> well I want to tell you Billy it comes to putting everybody knows you're the master what's the secret the secret in putting Bob is to get plenty of practice oh I do as many as four or five putts per hole <laughs> How about a little putting contest? Oh, that sounds like a good deal. Uh, what do you say we have a little wager? Say like $100 to a, your favorite charity? <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been hustled in prime time, I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, Billy, it's uh, my home course, so I'll show you the way. <laughs> Looks like the studio breaks two inches to the right. <laughs> Watch this action. <laughs> I've got relatives all over. <laughs> okay, Billy, take your best shot. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what's going on down there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you taking him? I'm taking this guy on tour. With him, I can't lose a tournament. <laughs> Charlotte, we've been going together for three years now. Four. Oh, Charlotte, will you be my... Yeah. Yeah. My... Oh, my. A gorgeous car. What is it? It's a new Charge Charger. A Dodge Charger 500. Dynamite. Yeah. What's that? That's the optional Hertz shifter. Elliot? Yeah. Hey, where are the headlights? They're hidden uh, where the bumper loops around the grill. Hey, these are new high backs. See? Yeah. See how nice they fit? My name's Sheila. What's yours? Elliot? That's a cute name. But it really rides smooth. Huh, Al? Why don't we find out? Elliot! 1970 Charger 500. If you can cope with a whole new image, you could be Dodge material. Elliot! Yes, Miss Lanigan? It's Colonel Beasley of NASA, calling from Houston. Hiya, Colonel. What's up? You want tickets to Hollywood Squares? No, I just called to tell you we're all set for our next Apollo space shot. Well, bully for you. Let me know how it comes out. You mean NBC's not going to cover it? No, I'm sorry, but you've been preempted for our big special. Mini Pearl flicks a chicken. <laughs> Dave. Dave, what are you trying to tell me? Colonel, the space shots are getting too perfect. There's no excitement, no suspense. Who's going to tune in on Mission Possible? Dave, what can we do? Have you thought about a hijacking? Hold it, I want to write that down. <laughs> you gotta get with it, Colonel. The public wants entertainment, laughs, music, girls. Thanks, Dave. You've given me a whole new slant and a next space shot. I'll get back to you. Fine. Ladies and 
gentlemen, this is John Pollock at Mission Control. From the Apollo Theater, somewhere in space, your solar system network presents The In Flight Show, starring those happy-go-lucky astronauts, Major Scott Towles and Captain Regis Bland. <laughs> and now, live from Mars and the landing of Apollo 16, here's Scotty. <laughs> off-Broadway, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> One year, you don't send a Christmas card to your agent, look where he sends you. <laughs> oh, it was quite a trip. Eight hours for flight and two days to get your luggage. <laughs> we got Biggie planned for you tonight, and now here's our first guest for the evening, my very good friend and pilot, Captain Regis Bland, right here. <laughs> I named this territory Raquel Welsh. <laughs> How'd you happen to think of Raquel Welsh? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> This hour of entertainment from Chrysler Corporation, makers of Plymouth, Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, Dodge Truck, Simca, and Sunbeam Automobiles. Chrysler Corporation, engineering with care. This is Frank Barton inviting you to stay tuned to the Tennessee Ernie Ford Special, which follows next over most of these same NBC stations. Yes, see the Tennessee Ernie Ford Special with four lovely guests. Barbara Feldon, Eva Gabor, Joy Heatherton, and Shirley Jones. Next, In Color, on the NBC Television Network. It keeps you feeling fresh, but it's not a soap. Makes you feel feminine, but it's not perfume. It's a deodorant, but it's different. It's Vespray. Vespray, the feminine hygiene deodorant. Vespray, the silky soothing mist that's baby powder fresh, baby powder gentle, and very effective. Vespray Feminine Hygiene Deodorant. The feminine way to feel confident. Did you know that people make a million sandwiches a day with chicken of the sea tuna? Yeah, but there's so many other things you can do with it. Because it's got versatility. Goes great in casseroles and salads and dips and snacks. Remember, America, chicken of the sea tuna does not live by bread alone. It's all prime filet. The world's largest seller, chicken of the sea. The tuna with versatility. Look for chicken of the sea frozen shrimp, too. <laughs> it rooms. <laughs> we're back now. I don't know why, but we're back. Uh, may I say one thing before you talk to have? <clears throat> Give Joanne, your lovely wife, who I make jokes about, mm. who I adore, and who's been very kind. She's the one that introduced me to Truman Capote. Right. <laughs> I want you to know. No, that's true. Rosalind Russell, we had a big party at your home, and I was invited, and I feel, my wife and I, Barbara, and I feel very proud to be part of your group with all those wonderful people. And bless you. <laughs> okay, take over, Spider. <laughs> That's a, you, you really meant that, didn't you? Right. I think your wife is a charming hostess, and she never gets any billing, and she's a lovely woman. Well, I think that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> She'll be getting out of the home soon, too. And we'll come see her. <laughs> Before you do it, I'll do it. Hey, you, I read another... Is this a rumor? Someone said you're going to get married. No, that's rumor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no plans? Uh, not in the immediate future. I met a young lady that... Um, 
I care a great deal about, uh, but there are no immediate uh, marital plans. Hmm. So that's... I think it all started in Rome. Uh, uh, we were over in Europe uh, to make a film last summer, and uh, yeah, when it was translated from English to Italian... Louis Belson's packing up. He's... <laughs> I thought the room was getting heat. <laughs> it has been. Had to, had to top me, huh? You know, in there, but you weren't well, you, me, Meantime, you have the show. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> no. You are waiting we, for we, Dick Cavett to we, get sick. We didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> we didn't mean to interrupt. We didn't mean to interrupt you. Just, just bust right ahead. You're great, you. You're, you're a lot of fun. Yeah. When we're on a raft to survive us, let's, let's, let's plan it. You and I are near the end so we can say goodbye to each other. <laughs> I'm going to get you on that plane, Don. <laughs> Give me a little trouble. George, forget about the girl. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> you do your show uh, in, out of Chicago. That's real. Uh, God bless you, John. <laughs> what do you use the plane for, man? I hate to keep it. To fly. <laughs> He's handling very well, up there. Good, you. Have you ever had him on your show? You can't believe it, right? He's yes. Millionaire with Tom McCann's shoes. <laughs> yes, Don, Don was on our show uh, last season, and it was a, a disaster, not unlike this evening. It was. Uh, <laughs> when Don is there, it's <laughs> very special. What, what, what kind of a. What, what's your. <laughs> What kind of wants to clutch me. Huh? <laughs> I'm a human being, not a canary. <laughs> not a canary? That's right, John. When you don't know what to say, you throw in anything. <laughs> You're not exactly rolling right along. <laughs> you keep staring at us like we're a couple of geeks and the circus is out. <laughs> These people came in to be entertained. Unfortunately, some of the biggies didn't show up. <laughs> so we settled for you. <laughs> You know what the greatest thing was? George, a big star, right? You know what he did when you got in that good one? He went, Remember <laughs> <laughs> when you kid, boom, boom, die, die, Harvey, die. <laughs> You're a lot of fun, George. Later on, brain. <laughs> 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 I think we better take a break just yes. in time here. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. I know most. A red coat. An orange blouse. A green skirt. Any color TV can get those colors right. Philco Color TV with the cosmetic color circuit gets the face colors right. And when you get the face colors right, the rest is easy. Philco Ford. It figures the better idea people would give you better color TV. Thank you all tonight. This has been kind of crazy. Hugh, I, I really appreciate you coming in from Chicago oh, uh, to join us. Don, uh, you opened the Copa March the 5th. You, you, got an, you got an old motion picture coming out. You're on a special with Don Adams. Is that about it? No, we have our own special on ABC called The Many oh. Sides of Don Rickles. <laughs> Mr. Rickles will also be in the lobby fitting shoes right after the show. <laughs> George, thank you. I agree with that. Thank you, Karen. We'll see you on Dragon World. Tomorrow night, Bill Cosby, Connie Stevens, Connie Stevens, George Burns, Mama Cass Elliott, and Peter Lawford. Yes. Okay, thank you all. Good night, folks. This program was pre-recorded.